Every 30 seconds, a diabetic has an amputation due to a foot complication. A Swedish study uh, confirms that good shoes and shoe inserts and podiatry and regular checkups can reduce amputations by as much as 50%. Now, prevention is the first line of defense, and protecting the foot from overloading the sole of the foot by wearing insoles can minimize the risk of ulcers and can, that can lead to ampu amputations. So this is why living a healthy lifestyle is so important to prevent diabetes in the first place. Now after the horse is out of the barn, amputation prevention is important. If a diabetic hurts their foot, remember it's really hard to heal. So right Vicki and well said. When you have uh, diabetes and you've had it for about 10 years, about 50% of people will have clinical evidence of neuropathy, which means that the nerves that go to the foot aren't going to be working right. And it's because the sympathetic nervous system is going to be in overdrive and constricting so blood can't get to the foot. And so some of the symptoms are pain and also numbness at the same time, which sounds really weird. Exactly. Well, it's, it's exactly what happens. And what we have to do is see if we can reverse that. And there are ways to do it. Now, what Vicki's talking about here is really important. Foot care is important because if 50% after 10 years are going to have this problem and actually 90% will have electrophysiological evidence of it, this is like of epidemic proportions and we need something different if we're going to be able to bring this into clinical practice. Well, one of the problems is that if somebody's feet are numb on the bottom, and they step on something they don't even know and they can't even feel that they've hurt themselves and this is what can lead to the amputations. Exactly. Didn't you tell me one time you had a patient that had was complaining that something was bothering him on his foot and then you, you checked his foot and he had like a coke bottle stuck in it? Well he told me the story of that. Oh, he That's told what happened. Oh. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing. It, what happens when you have this numbness is you also lose your balance because you don't know where your feet are. And if you try to get up in the middle of the night to walk, if the light is not, it's easy to have a fall and, and sustain a fracture. So the infections are another problem. If you wind up with a sore in your foot and you don't know it and it breaks down the skin, a lot of those people go on to have amputations. It's about 15% of people who have type 2 diabetes eventually will get an ulceration. I remember one time, though, when I was working in your office and you had a patient that had a, an infected toe and it was just it was miserable, horrible looking. And I think it was close to gangrenous. Uh -huh. And you treated that with the near-infrared light, the uh -huh. photon stimulator. Uh -huh. And he didn't have to have the toe amputated. Yeah, the photon stimulator is a, a whole new direction in healthcare. When we use infrared light at six, 860 nanometers, it's near infrared light in the electromagnetic spectrum. And that light, when it's given with sufficient concentration and the right way, can do very powerful things to reverse the effects of the neuropathy of diabetes, also of chemotherapy. In fact, we're doing a clinical trial now at the University of California in San Francisco that's been funded by the National Institutes of Health for $7 million to look at these people who have chemotherapy-induced neuropathy. Now, while it's admittedly a different mechanism that's involved, I've had a lot of experience uh, with uh, diabetics who have neuropathy. In fact, we published a paper about five years ago on 120 patients from the VA hospital in Martinez and showed that it was quite effective. So. We've got a new technology here, Vicki, that is absolutely unbelievable because it's so I know it's so you've good. come home with a lot of stories from pe people that you've helped and helped them to get over their mm -hmm. neuropathies. Well, Some people that have walked out of your office and forgotten their crutches even. Oh, or their wheelchairs. Yeah, absolutely. It really is a crime that this isn't being used more in mainstream medicine. This needs to be in all the diabetic clinics and in the hospitals and the doctor's offices. I mean... 
it's and it's such a rare thing. I think that the uh, FDA, we, we always are saying how the FDA is in cahoots with the pharmaceutical industry. No question. Because, see, the pharmaceutical industries are not eager for the photon stimulator to work. Because eager, they'll lose billions of yeah, dollars. Yeah, they don't sell year. all their big fancy drugs for, exactly. for neuropathy. It literally takes about three treatments, okay, of 10 minutes using a special device that I and my friend Maurice Bales have put together that does a remarkable job of reversing the pain in most people and helping with the numbness and improving balance. It was called a sense of proprioception. Now, what exactly does infrared light do? That should be the first question we want to know. Well, it certainly increases circulation almost instantly because when those infrared light waves uh, hit the, the vascular uh, a, a blood vessel wall, it causes an instant release of a chemical called nitric oxide, just as nitroglycerin does for people who have angina when they take that little pill. It happens like that. It also increases the, 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 the rate of healing by about 50% according to NASA studies. It increases lymphatic drainage so there's less congestion. And it also converts the infrared light into chemical energy called ATP. Gasoline runs a car, ATP runs your cells. And if you can put ATP in your cells when they're malnourished because they aren't getting enough blood because of the vasoconstriction of the arteries to the foot, you've really hit on something. And that's why we see changes in minutes when we do this. And a lot of people with diabetic neuropathy come in with pain, come in with numbness, they don't know where their feet are, and they walk out with a substantial change. And so many of them have tears in their eyes because the change is so dramatic. Well, this technology works, it's inexpensive, and more people should be using it. To me, it's a crime that we have an FDA that won't support this. And we've been working with them pretty closely. And I can tell you, working with them has been a nightmare. It's almost as though they are determined they are not going to bring this into clinical practice. It seems like the only articles that are accepted by the mainstream journals are the ones where they use infrared light that doesn't work. And there are reasons why it doesn't work, usually because they're using the wrong frequency or they're of light or they're using insufficient power. And, uh, or they don't know how to do it. Well, that's true, too. So this is a new breakthrough in medicine. If you have diabetes uh, with neuropathy, it shouldn't any longer be something that requires uh, a whole lot of drugs to take care of the problem and still leave you oftentimes with pain that's unbearable, particularly at night. So that's good news. We should bring this technology forward now.